Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my tutorial on my version of Stand By Me by Ben E. King. If you haven't seen my version of this already, you can use the card, the information card at the top there and go and watch that first so that you know which parts of the songs that I'm referring to. I'm going to get straight into this because it's quite a straightforward one. Um, I just thought I'd do this video as I've done the, uh, the cover already. I'll do a tutorial on it as well. So straight in with the chords of the song, which is the first of the loops as well. So we're starting on G. Down to E minor. Very straightforward chords, these. Over to C. To D. And then back to that G. And then we'll be looping there and then the next loop that comes straight in I don't wait for that to loop over again before starting the loops again um, it's one of the only parts about this song that's different from other loop tutorials that I've done is there is no gap in between so straight away when you've gone from the end of that first loop and then onto the snare drum sound so straight in like that just cover the strings um, doing this helps if you separate your fingers rather than having them together um, that obviously prevents any harmonic sounds um, coming through so you don't want to end up with that coming through you want uh, that sound so spread your fingers out as much as you can to prevent anything being fretted so as I said straight in with that sound and then the third loop after that is on the microphone just like a sound um, for like a shaker sound I suppose or a hi-hat whatever you want to call it so just onto that mic and so on and then straight after that we're in with the bass drum sound which goes and so on that's quite straightforward and then straight from that we click the octave pedal on to add that bass line um, I'll teach you the bass line first. It's on the uh, D string and it starts on the fifth fret, which is the note of G. So twice on that, then open four, five. They're the fret numbers of the D string there. So open four, five. And then five, four, two, two, open two, two. 2 open and then the note of C which is the 3rd fret on the A string twice and then that C note again and then 2nd fret on the D string to open on the D string and then open 4, 5, 5, open 4, 5, 5. Hopefully that wasn't too fast but it is really really straightforward and it's easy enough to work out. Um, so with the octave pedal that should sound like... And then that's where the loop comes in. So I'm going to stick my headphones on and run through all of those loops so that you can see them in action together. Um, so as I said, the first loop should just be the chords. So straight in with...
So now that the loops are running, um, what I do is leave them to run once so that I can switch the octave pedal off and hit the play and record button on the loop pedal so that it's no longer recording anything for when I come in with the vocals. So at this point now is where... Where the night... Sorry about my appalling falsetto there, but um, that's obviously where the vocals come in. And that loop just runs through the entire song pretty much. Um, what I normally do, as I start to sing, I'll flick over to channel 2, ready for the harmony bit that I throw in after the second chorus. So with that running, flick over to the second channel by pressing and holding the stop button for two seconds. Or if you've got your FS5U or your FS6 plugged in, you can hit that button to switch the track over. And then ready for the harmonies, which go like... Obviously I've got those now looping. What I do when I come back in with the vocals again for the chorus, I do one chorus without those harmonies in, so I stop that that track again um, as the vocals come back in and then bring it in again for the next chorus and then drop the first loops out for the last chorus. So we've got that running like that. those run for a full a full loop a full rotation back in with the vocals here so I stop that so that it runs like that that's why I do that into the second channel not straight in to the first one so I've got full rotation of that while the vocals are going on as I said you can watch the other video to see how it should sound complete so back in with the loop again in the meantime, flip back over to channel one, ready to drop the first loops out for the end of the song. So the very, very last loop should be those harmonies on their own. I'm ready to stop that, so. Don't forget, as well, to flip back over to channel two, ready to stop the loop. I've forgotten to do that live before now and press the stop button again and nothing's happened because the first loop's already stopped. So, and that's the end of the song. So, um, I hope that was helpful. I know it was a really, really short video, but, um, you know, I did that cover and I wanted to do a tutorial of it to make sure that it's out there. Um, I've actually been looking in recently, looking into doing some live streams, uh, which could be something really interesting. I could set this camera up, be here with my guitar and my looper and all that, and sort of teach you things in real time. If anyone's interested in that, um, let me know in the comments section and also let me know which day of the week and what times are good for you as well because I don't want to be doing live streams when nobody's about. So if you're interested in some live streams and uh, so you'd be able to ask me questions live as I do the videos, um, yeah, let me know about that. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video, thumbs down button if you didn't like it, please don't do that. But you know, if you didn't like it, you can go for that. Um, subscribe if you haven't already as well, um, just so that you get alerts when I upload new videos. Particularly when these live streams start, um, you want to be subscribed to get alerts when I'm going live and things like that. So um, do that. And thanks very much for watching. As I always say, you can follow me on Twitter at Tweed Nelson. In fact, most of the social networks you'll find me at Tweed Nelson. Um, and that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye bye. Never you're in trouble, won't you stand by me? Oh, now stand by me. Oh, stand. Stand by me. <laughs>